Oh. Okay. We are back for actual y'all gaming. Alrighty. Here. So, this is what I've built. I made this deck all by myself with no help from anybody. Um, I think this is what I want to be. This is where I want to be right now. Where how the where, 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 this is where I want to be with how the meta is right now. So I'll walk through a, uh, the changes that I made to the main deck. So no more Spike Peter, no more Ballista. I have done away with those cards, as I think that there's a lot more graveyard decks in the format. So Merc Tide is coming back, Living End is coming back a lot. So I think we need the Endurance in the main board. We might even want to have two. Like I might even switch Shieldred out for another Endurance, put it in the main board. Because the, the two Endurances main board versus Living End was really, really powerful back when Living End was really good. So it might be switching to that. Um, other than that, everything is pretty much stock. Um, I have a Reclamation Sage in the sideboard for all of the Cursed Totems that we're, we've been seeing. I took out... what did I, I think I just took out a Fatal Push for it. Or no, what I did is I took... So I removed the thing from the main board. I put Endurance... I took out the spike feeder from the main board, took the endurance from the sideboard, put it main board. So, first the post ban changes to Alvin Chorus still. So I'm only I only have Alvin Chorus in right now still because there have been whispers and rumors of Scam still being a deck. Like there's that, still that like mid range version of Scam, and I think Alvin Chorus is going to be good against that version. Um, I, again, I haven't played too much of the new format or of the new. I haven't played too much of modern since the ban because I've been. I was practicing for Pioneer at the time, but now we're gonna we're gonna be playing more. I'm gonna be seeing how the meta is, seeing what decks we come we run into, and then we can make changes from there. So I think this is what I want to be on for right now, and then we can just run it back into a league and see how it goes. Let's get into it. <laughs> That's the reason why I say that. All right, on the die, would you like to play first? Yes, sir. Boom. Let's see what do we got. Uh, yeah, this hand's pretty good. We're gonna keep it. Missing a mana source for Yawgmoth, but we got the core calling. I gotta get back into the mindset playing Yawgmoth. I have not played Modern in like two weeks, and I've been switching between Pioneer decks. I've been playing Vintage Cube. So now we're back in the Yawg seat. Gotta rev it up. Gotta get back into the motions. All right. <clears throat> Play this out, play a young wolf, and pass the turn. Oh! A person in the chat said, Bro, giant fan. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. That's super nice to see. Alright, so we drew the land, that's good. Uh, we just want to be running out the wall of roots here, because assuming this is the mirror match, we want to get Yawgmoth on the field as soon as possible. So we're just getting for one here. We need to fetch for a second black source, so we're just going to play wall of roots here, and then yield for the turn. Oh my god. I don't want to be seen cool as hell. I came from across the street. A few months back, says wanting to get back to modern. You inspired me to pick up the deck and paper. Hey, well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm always happy if I could make people get into the deck or if I can help out, uh, help learn the deck. I think it's really cool. So thank you. I'm happy. Well, this opponent said something. Aha, uh -huh, I'm doomed. <laughs> All right, so here we're going to draw. That's really good. Uh, so, our opponent might have a, our opponent might be going for Grist next turn. Is there anything we can do to play around that? Maybe I don't play out Yogg here. Like, there's an argument to not playing Yogg here if we think that they have a Grist. But if they have a Grist, then it's fine because we can go... One, two, three, four, and cord for 
Port Bright, another young wolf, so this is actually okay. Um, I think we're okay on green sources, so we're gonna just do this here. Play Yawgmoth. And we're gonna pass turn, holding up cord for one. Hey, thank you, Dre. Hey, I appreciate you for watching my content and commenting and chatting. It's It really means a lot to me, too. I love interacting with people, and I am very happy if I can teach people how to play the game. So it means a lot to me. Thank you very much. It's going to be three Yogmirs and two Cascade. No, don't say that. Don't say that. All right, Halfling, sure. Oh, yep. So there's the Gris that we predicted. So that's going to be fine. We can say that's fine. So if they go for a down tick here, we can cord. Yeah, so they're going to go for a down tick. So we're going to cord here. To get a young wolf. I'm gonna pay a life target here, sacrifice here. So, in this situation, if we didn't have Cord, then I probably wouldn't have played Yogmoth. I would have played out Strangleroot Geist and not Hapatra, uh, just so that she didn't die to the Grist. And then we could have passed turn there, and then where our board would have been relatively safe since um, we just have Undying creatures and a Wall of Roots. So their their best target would just be sacrificing Wall of Roots, and even if they did have a Yog Moth, uh, they wouldn't really have much to do with it because they would just have the Wall of Roots in play. So that's why I think it would have been fine there if uh, we didn't play out Yog Moth. But what we can do here is we can just draw until we hit another Yog Moth or another Cord. We should be fine. A Cauldron is also a Cauldron also works. So I think I'm going to stop there. I'm also going to sacrifice... Okay, and there's a Yawgmoth too. Um, I think I still want to look for a cord so that way we can close out the game. There's a Grist. And then I'm going to use the Young Wolf here to take out their Delighted Halfling so that they have to sack their Wall of Roots. So we let this resolve. They have to sacrifice Wall of Roots, take out Yawgmoth. Yep, that's fine. We go to our turn. Uh, I want to keep a Seiju in my hand for an opposing cauldron. So here we're just going to go for the cauldron. Okay, nice. Mirror time. So we already have shielded in the main, so we can bring in one Haywire Might and then two Fatal Push, or Fatal Push and Legion's End. Could be, Bitter Triumph could also be interesting. Maybe I want to try it. I don't think we need to go too hard into the Artifact Hate. I think this is fine. And then we could take out one Wolf, one Wall. One Geist. And... One Ignoble. Glad we're still on children. Just picked up one. Card's good. Card's just really good. Ooh. All right, so I like this hand. I think we're going to keep it. It's very removal heavy. They're also mulling to six. It doesn't have a Yog Moth. It doesn't really have, it doesn't, it looks, so on the surface, this hand doesn't look like it has much going on, right? But we have a Fatal Push to interact with their board. We have Bitter Triumph to kill their Grist or to kill their Yog Moth if they put it, if they get one out. And then we have a Cauldron to punish them if they end up doing that. We can steal their call. We can steal their creature and then we can do our thing. Oh no, they're mulling to four. No. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, opponent got brilliant unlucky there. They had to mull, their hands were really bad. So they mulled down to four and then they figured that they didn't want to play. Understandable. 
Um, but yeah, that's the mirror match. <laughs> Easy. Hey. <laughs> I plan to win the whole thing. That's my goal. Um, but I do need to get better at the Rhinos matchup. That's our hardest matchup historically, and I do want to tech more for it because I think it's going to be one of the most represented decks there. So I'll probably... I, I want to try putting Crime and Punishment back in the board. I think that would be good. Ooh. All right, so this is interesting. So this is a hand. This is exactly why... Okay, for those who doubt Hagara Mauling, this is exactly why I like Hagara Mauling over Dried Arbor right now. If this hand, if Hagar Mauling was a Dried Arbor, this hand would be unkeepable. Because it's a Hagar Mauling, we can keep it without risking too much. Yes, it's a bit slower, right? We're still a turn behind. However, our land is not vulnerable to removal. So I think I like this hand. We're going to roll with it. If we draw an untapped source here, it's even better. Damn it. Okay. So we're going to play this tapped and pass back the turn. And then next turn... So they're blue, red. So this could be Rhinos. This could be Murktide. Okay, so it's Rhinos. It's not that good for us. Oh, never mind. What? Okay. I don't know what we're up against. Uh, so let's see. I think I want to prioritize getting a Yawgmoth out next turn. So we can go... This might be... Oh, shoot. I meant to play the... I should have played the Twilight Mire there. My bad. Uh, misclick on my part. Uh, yeah, we're going to go Halfling here. Yeah, I should have played that Mire there so I could go double green drop. But I just... I wasn't thinking. My mistake. Hopefully we don't get uh, too punished for it. Mauling Dryad. Mauling greater than symbol. <laughs> Alright. Uh, rest in peace, Dryad. Oh, it does stick. Uh, so this is an interesting spot. I think... I want to play out the double young wolves here. And then we're going to play out an uncounterable cauldron. And then we're set we're we are set up really good for next turn. I didn't want to play Yawgmoth there because onto a board with just a creature that you don't really want to sacrifice is it's not really what you want to be doing. So I think playing out the Young Wolves before slamming the Yawgmoth is correct. Boss, lose two hammer in FM for LGS. NTG can do from turn one giver into turn two still forward. Yeah, that is so hammer is an interesting matchup because idea like theoretically it's a really good matchup for us. However, there are certain times where they just have they just have the nuts and we can't do anything about it that just happens like sometimes they have turn one they will have like turn one drum ornithopter sigarda's aid and then next turn they'll just smack you for 10 20 damage and, and with protection up it's just that's just how it goes sometimes Or they go give her into Stoneforge into Cauldra. Now Cauldra is not that bad. Like we can, we can work, we can work with a, we can we can work through a a Cauldra as long as it doesn't have a hammer. But um, sometimes it's hard. So this is interesting. We're gonna throw out Yog Moth. I don't know what we're up against still. I'm just going to attack the run in six here. Prime punishment for versus EE or fill a glue from else from porch appeasement. Um, so my thinking right now for rhinos is that crime and punishment is the better card. Mainly because, so it's still going to get, regardless whether it was a Ratchet Bomb or a Filigree Silex, it's going to get, it's going to get Force of Negation either way, right? Because it's a Sorcery. But Ratchet Bomb, Filigree Silex can both get stopped by the Merfolk, the new Merfolk, and it can get 
destroyed by Flame of Anor. So I think for that reason, I want to be on Crime and Punishment over those two cards. Also, Ratchet Bomb and Filigree Silex, if you play it too early, they can just play around it the whole time. So you have to like play it at a time where they have Rhinos already. So you're already t you're already taking a bunch of damage if they go Violent Outburst Instant Speed, right? Um, so I, I don't know. It's kind of hard. I don't know what we're up against still. Um, I will not sacrifice. I will sacrifice here. Okay. What are we playing against? Is it just like five color. No, actually, it's fine. Sure. Bring to light? Maybe. White, blue, blue. Teferi. Sure. Oh, the cat combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been seeing that online. Yeah, I haven't played against it yet, though. Um, but we do... If we draw a green card, we win next turn, I believe. Oh, well, oh well, maybe still. No, I don't... No, 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 we don't. Am I playing one Evo main? I am not. I do not like uh, Evolution, but I think it's not incorrect to play. So they have three cards in hand. They could have a Solitude here. I think I'm still going to just attack with one creature. If they want to use a Solitude on my one Young Wolf, I'm fine with that. Cool. So we'll play out another Young Wolf, and then we can play out another Yogg Moth. Or do I want to play out another Young Wolf? Maybe I want to play out another Young Wolf. And then we play out Yawgmoth next turn. So then next turn we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and then we can Cord. I think I like that. So I'm doing this to set up for a win next turn. Because if we have multiple Undying creatures, they can't win unless they have multiple forms of interaction. So we'll see what they do here. The one ring, that's fine. We have Zulaport Cutthroat for this reason. I like the six Undying creatures instead of five plus one Evo personally. Yes, I, I'm in the same boat. I'm just going to flash in Endurance here. Cool. So I could go for it now. I guess I should. To the port. And now we have the win. Hey, Mark one up for Zulaport. Oh, we're on the chalkboard for Zulaport. We 
do baby. Okay, so I don't know what we're up against. Oh my god. Um, right, but we're gonna bring in Artifact Hate. So Haywire Might, Terra Sunder. I do like bringing in forces in this matchup. And then we can bring in like a Bitter Triumph, maybe. Maybe I want a Reclamation Sage just in case they have a, a thing. We take out one Young Wolf, we take out Ignoble, we take out Zillapore actually in this matchup. Uh, actually, so this is an old sideboard guy. It's not updated. It's not updated for Fury. Maybe Blood Artist is actually fine. Uh, Endurance we don't really need. One Cauldron we can shave. And then... Hmm. No, I think we can win without the Zulaport. And then we can just cut on... Like, one... One wall is fine. No, I think one strangle root is fine. Ooh. The scent's pretty decent. I think we're going to keep it. They start with seven. Scent's okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Pi. I guess we'll play out Halfling first, um, just in case we hit a Grist next turn. Land binding or prismatic ending? Prismatic ending. We can go beat down plan with strangle root here. Get in there with the damage. This looks like a Teferi. One, two, three. Yep. If you want to bounce our strangle root, go right ahead. Be my guest. Oh, so nice of you. Thank you. Oh, and there's just right in the nick of time. Right when we need it most. So we'll play strangle root again. Take out their Teferi. And we will shock here and play out the young wolf. Pass the turn. Now we're going to be in a pretty good position next turn, if we can stick a Yogg. That deck list is not updated. I do need to update that. Thank you, Dre. Four mana. Oh, they have a one ring here. Ooh, if they have a one ring, maybe I just want to exile it right away with the uh, Haywire Might. White, black. White, red. Ah, Cursed Totem. Okay. Red, green, sure. So it's a good thing I put in the Reclamation Sage. Oh, Grist is so good here. Oh man, Grist is so good here, wow. Um, Yeah, I think we just play Grist. Sacrificed here. Take out the Renin Six. Always yield. Get in there with the damage. And we are sitting pretty. White, red, black, blue. Sure. So good without Fury here, yes sir.
to go fetch here. Otherwise, we might lose everything we have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It feels so nice to not have to worry about that card anymore. They might have a Leyline Binding here, which is also fine. Swamp. Cool. Let's start by plussing. I swear to God, if we mill the Reclamation... Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's a, it gets a little scary when it's like, oh, I hope we don't mill our one of tutor target that we're going to be tutoring for. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Can I play both? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. No, we can't. So I think we go we're good to go to combat here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm going to just attack with the young wolf and the stranger geist. Oh, wait, they have... They have the ring protection. Oopsies. I think I'm just going to wait. I haven't seen any counter spells from them. Uh, or do I want to wait? Kind of awkward. Could have missed their cast trigger. True. I think I will go for it now. If they have another cursed, if they find another one, oh well. Like, they're probably just going to play the other one anyways. So, let's go get Reclamation Sage. Destroy that thing. We can just yield through the turn here. They draw more with the ring, sure. White, green, red, blue, Omnath. Land. Okay. So they have something to play with five mana. Could be another ring. Could be a solitude. Forest, okay. Okay, well, there's the Guardian. Oh, do they have the... Oh, do they have Sahili as well? Wait, what? Oh, Omnath mana. Ah, alright, alright. Hmm... What does Sahili go to? Sahili. Does she go to one? She does. Okay, yeah, sh I should have waited there. I should have waited for them to go through all of that. Then I could have just courted for a Bowmasters and stopped the combo. We will pay attention to that for next time. Hand looks decent. We're going to keep it. Play out the young wolf. Pass the turn. I don't know why I get so scared of counter spells in four color decks. I just assume that the four color decks put everything into their deck. I try to play around counter spell when maybe I don't have to. Goodbye, young wolf. You're thinking about prismatic ending here. Oh. 
I have decided to prismatic ending. Halfling is decent. Oh, they can't go for a run in six next turn, so Halfling is actually fine to play here. Goodbye, Halfling. Another cord is nice. We need to get creatures into play to make use of it, though. They could have a Teferi here. They could have lots of things here. Looks like they do have a Teferi. Oh, Ren 6, okay. little annoying, um, but we can at least punish it a bit with the Bowmasters. Land here would be good. Force isn't bad for the hate that they get. Um, do I want to... I think I want to just cord for two here, though. Let me think. Because if we, well, yeah, I don't, I can't attack here because I need to progress my board. I can't just attack run six down to two and then not do anything. So if I cord here for two, get a, if they kill the Bowmaster, I assume that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a cord for three next turn. So I think I want to do that. highest upside is if we draw land, then we can cord for a Yogg. Yep. Well, we're drawing all of our, all of our sideboard pieces when we don't have and they don't have anything to hit. I might just want a cord here for a grist. Just start trying to put things on the table. I think that's what I want to do. Because if we, if they just pass if we pass turn again and they ping the orc army, it's just really bad. Like we just didn't do anything then. We'll start plusing here. If they have a if they have a leyline binding, that's fine because we can deal with that. Ah, that's kind of annoying, but we can win through that. Maybe they won't hit all of them. Maybe they'll miss, they'll forget. They're not gonna hit all four. Wait. 
They actually didn't hit all four. What? There's still one in the deck. Wait. <laughs> they missed. They missed. I was just, I was BB. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Use sideboard. Yeah, I still have one in the deck. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep... I kind of want to keep the wall at four here because I don't want them to lightning bolt it. So I'm just going to play out the haywire might. And destroy that. We're still going to plus here. Mildo Court of Calling. We kind of wanted that one. Just going to attack at red and six still. Our guardian is four mana, right? It is, yeah, okay. Sure. I guess I'll just do this now to use my mana efficiently. I know they get to draw a card, but it's fine. Good draw. I'm just going to keep plussing here. Hopefully we don't mill over our Yawgmoth. Ooh! Double Grist! Roll it up. That's good. We'll just send two at Ren and six since they have protection from everything still. And Bowmasters is actually really good because now we can stop their uh, their combo if they try to go for it. They could have an Omnath here, which would be annoying. Oh, they did. okay, never mind. White, blue, cursed totem. That's fine. White, blue, blue, blue. Supreme verdict. E. Um. That's also fine. Yeah. I guess I'm not going I'm not gonna use the force here, I'm gonna save it for a ley line binding. I'm not gonna play out the wall of roots, I don't think. Ah I mean I think I will actually. So the thing is the thing I'm like the fit, my favorite part of the swing with a few 3 2 guys, opponent says take six, you just proliferate for lethal. Yes! True, very nice. Um, the reason why I didn't want to play Wall of Roots here, maybe, is because if they went for um, if they went for a Leyline Bunny on Grist, it'd be bad, because we couldn't use Force, but I think it's fine. Let's go to combat. White, blue, blue. Oh, they have a solitude. Worm. Hmm. I 
I could flash in the Bowmasters here. I think I will. Like, if they have two cards in hand, it's unlikely that they have the combo, right? Three cards in hand, hopefully we can dodge them just having the combo here. Okay. We're gonna go to combat first. They have two cards in hand. Could, they could have another Solitude, I guess. Yeah, they do. <sighs> Which is annoying, but not the end of the world. We can just down pick, kill this. card in hand and we have one card in hand they know what we have we don't know what they have oath of nissa sure mm. annoying but also fine still gonna save this force no we don't really need to use it on a cursed totem right now we don't have any creatures Gonna thin the deck so we stop drawing lands. Okay, last fetchable in the deck, cool. Milled over our swamp. Something, something hot. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play that out and draw immediately. That's something hot, I do like that one. We're just gonna plus here, keep putting on pressure. Ugh, cauldron milled over, no, that would have been so good. We now have a way to stop their combo with the Bowmasters, so that's what I was looking for. That's Felder our Guardian. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're just gonna let this happen. I could like force in response, but if their last card is exactly Sahili, uh, then it's really bad. So yeah, sure. If they could also find a Sahili off of this, which if they do, it's fine because we can kill it. They found another red and six, okay. Five creature cards in the graveyard. A land that will not fetch anything. Cool. Uh, just gonna keep plussing here. No, we milled over both cauldrons. Oh my god, I'm tilted. Come on, Chris, you're not supposed to do this to me. 
That was the that was our last cauldron, unfortunately. The other one's in the sideboard. Ugh. White, blue, blue. A prismatic ending. Yeah, okay. Mm. Red six ulti would be bad. Yes, I agree. I guess I'll just use this now, just in case we draw our Yogma. I guess, our last one. Could also flash in Bowmasters here. I guess it, I need to, to stop their Ren and Six. Right, give me, come on, Dad. Give me not a non, a non land, non land, please. Okay, well, that that's a, that is a non land. It's not gonna help me, unfortunately. Just use this here to save it. We pass the turn and then hope we don't die to them drawing Sahili. Okay. Goodbye, Grist. Oh, shield. Okay, so we get we have to keep our grists. That's good. We still have Two. We still have two in the deck. Another cursed totem that they're playing right into our reclamation stage that they know about. Okay, strangle root beat down. I think I am just going to go in for the damage here. That's all we have going for us. That's fine if they do that. I'm going to use I'm going to use Pendlehaven to keep this guy buffed or keep our creatures alive. You will not draw Sahili. My opponent will not draw Sahili. Sure.
Cool, 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 cool. Can we stop drawing our lands, please? Um, actually... I'm gonna just attack the Teferi. I have designed this speaker to amplify my thoughts so people will quit asking me for sandwiches. That should work right. I don't know what you're talking So now we can hold up Bowmasters uh, for the Sahili again, which is really good. This is definitely one of the games of all time. <laughs> Another sideboard piece, you love to see it. Just gonna get in for the damage here. Yes, you have seven turns, opponent. Oh, they're not even blocking. We take those. Turn 17. It's just it's just a regular game of modern. This is just it's just regular game of modern. Green, blue. A seiju. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the point of the game that we're at now. <laughs> I will besage you I will besage you your Pendlehaven. Yeah, we still have a Yawgmoth in the deck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my shape. <laughs> Can we please stop drawing lands? Oh my god, is that like number five in a row? Number six? Um, I'm still not going to flash in the bow masters now because I'm scared. Because if they do, if they do just draw Sahili at any point, we will lose. So I need to hold up the bow masters here. We will win on turn 304. Hey, we're almost there. We are almost there. Attack here. They want to double block. That's fine. Oh, they're, it's so weird. Why are they not double blocking? I mean, they know that we have the uh, the bowmaster in our hand, but I'm just gonna. I'm only gonna use it on the Sahili. Turn twenty, baby. Green, red, red, uh, red six number four. That's the fourth one. Almost timeout. Yes, sir. Uh, if they want to deal the damage there, that's fine. Again, we only care about the Sahili. How many Sahilis do they play? Do they just play one Sahili, one Felidar Guardian? Four? No shot. They do not play four. I just checked the lit. Four? And they haven't drawn it the entire time? Bro, no way. I don't know why they're blocking. Oh, excuse me. They must have gotten extremely unlucky then, <laughs> drawing almost their entire deck and not finding one. And that that's also not good for us then, because that means Wait, and they play four Paladar Guardian too? They play four Guardian, four Sahili, or is it four Sahili? Um, I guess I just flash in the Bowmasters now.
Another guardian. Okay. No way we get another turn. What the hell? Oh, okay. They should definitely be upticking, yeah. I don't know why they're not. I'm definitely attacking all to fair here. Apatra. Draw a card. Mm, I'm good. Mm, you know, Omnath, sure. I will not flash in my Bowmasters. Sure. Sure. <laughs> There's no way that they played four. It has to be just one Sahili. There's no way that they didn't find a single Sahili that entire time. All right, game number three here. If we did not win the die roll, we're going to be on the draw. What do we got? Not bad. I think we're going to keep it. It just needs a cord or a Yogmoth to be good. Or a Grist. Oh, baby. Is this burn? Burn, baby, burn. Yes, sir. Let's get it. All right, so this is actually a terrible hand on the draw versus burn. Okay, there's the court that we talked about. Um, let's just get this out first, and then we can play out Wall of Roots next turn. Ideally, you want a hand with, like, Young Wolf or a Mana Dork against burn, because at least you, you can just chump block with it. I have noticed they can play Kahira. Oh, it's weird if they're not playing Kahira. Okay, Roiling Vortex. They didn't reveal. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I just want to play out the Wall of Roots first here. If it eats a burn spell, that's like best case scenario for us. Play with fire us. Okay. We're taking a lot of damage here. They're going to scry on the bottom. Okay. Oh, all right. Another one. Uh, scrying that one on top. Sure. And they refuse to attack, which is good. Okay. We're getting dangerously low here. So we need to be playing out our hand. So we need we need to set up for a combo. So best thing to do here is to go Halfling and Hapatra. Then hold up Bowmasters and we have a cord for one, two, three, four, five. We can cord for two, but we want to be just cording for Shieldred on our turn, I think. We can set an upkeep on our turn. Oh, they have a rolling vortex, actually. Never mind. Depends. If they tap out... If our creatures survive and they tap out, then we can go for a rolling vortex. I mean, we could go for a cord. Now we're in kind of an awkward position. Huh. Because we can just die.
So this, I guess, would be the situation where Spike Peter would be good in the main board. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can attack here. Yeah, we could also just be dead for what they have. One, two, yeah, we have to let this happen. I mean, if they have a bolt, we're just dead. Yeah, okay. Bring in push and haywire might. I think that should be fine. I don't think we need to bring in this. We just take out cauldrons. All right, we're gonna be on the play for this one. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Again, this hand is a little bit slow. I think I'm gonna keep it on the strength of double cord. I'm gonna go turn one to Hagara. Uh, we're just going to get a basic forest here. We don't want to be taking damage. This is also a situation where Blood Artist would be better over um, Zulaport. Rolling Vortex, sure. I guess this is just stock now and burn. So we're just going to play out Grist here. Start upticking. Play this tapped and then pass the turn. The next turn we can get a shield rid. We should be okay. Ow. gonna block this here because we care more about our wall roots than the insect token. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we can do that. Just gonna pass turn here. We could also just be dead. Um, hmm. I guess I will get a shielded now to punish them, I guess. I could have I should have played out the bowmasters. I was kind of thinking too fast. I could have also gotten haywire might there. Yes.
Oh man, hold on. A lot of mana here. I could get Yogmoth. The thing is, they're gonna just activate the Roiling Vortex in response. So I kind of want to go for a Haywire Might. Because then we can activate the Peatland in response. Card. Yog Moth, okay. So now we need to just dodge a spell. Gonna sacrifice there, kill there. I'm gonna play it safe. Just in case they have like burn spell haste creature. Alright, they just have the Yep. They just have it. Okay. Maybe I do want a spike beater in the main board. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna play first this time. Sand looks pretty good. We're going to keep it. All it's missing is a cord or a Yogmoth. I'm going to hold... Because we have so much mana, I'm actually going to hold on to the Mauling here. Play out the Dork. Oh my god, you baby! What? Watery Grave. Okay. This is good for us because we can just resolve the, the cauldron. This looks like Grix's shadow. Another cauldron's not really what we want here. That's a good one. Uh, since we do need the, well, I guess I can, I can exile the halfling, but I think I'm just going to play, it's close. I mean, because if they just fatal push this, then we can't play Yogamoth. But If I play Yogmoth anyways, it's going to be bad because we have no board. So I guess I'm fine to just play out. I'm, I'm still fine to hold on to the mauling here, I guess. So we'll try to exile this at the end step. They might have a, might have a fatal push in response. Okay, resolve is cool. Strango Root Geist. I think I do want to be playing that before I play the Yogmon. If they kill the Strangle Root, we could even go for a. We could even play Yogmon, but it looks like they're not going to. Um, I think I'm going to play this out now. I think I just want to keep hitting land drops. Sauron's Ransom, sure. Arrange the cards into piles. The top pile will be represented face up, bottom pile will be represented face down. All right. So we're going to trick them. We're going to go top pile, 
top pile. And then they're going to choose the bottom pile because they think the top pile looks bad. Hey, <laughs> they get two lands. Are you Arby's? Yes. Ooh. I think I like playing Grist here more than Yawgmoth. They could have a subtlety here. They do not. Cool. Because you have the meats. Oh my gosh! All right, let me let me talk about my my weekend for a little bit. Also, so as, as you all know, I went to the I went to the RC, had a great time. Um, I did meet a few fans who came up and like shook my hand, like, "Oh my god, are you meat?" And I was like, kind of, I was taken aback. I'm like, "I am. That is me." Um. Mm. I'm going to do Murktide at top and the Islet at top. Um, let me set a stop here. If they choose the Murktide, then I will... They did not take the Murktide. Wow, okay. Um, yes, it was great. I met, I met some fans. You know, they said hi. It was really cool to experience that. I'd never experienced something like that before. So it was great to, to meet people and say hi to everyone. Um, also met Joaquin, who was a regular viewer of this channel. He was a super cool guy, very nice. Love talking to him. Um, but then I also got, ta I was talking with some of my friends and they were like, what do you call your viewers? And I'm like, what do you mean? And they was like, oh, well, you know, different streamers have different like names for their viewers and what they call them. Like what? So what do you call yours? And I'm like, oh, I haven't thought about that. And one of one of my friends is like, oh, you should call them like the meatheads or the meat lovers. And I'm like, oh my god, that's funny. But that's up to that's up to you guys. You guys get to decide that what you want to be called. The meatheads or the meat lovers. <laughs> I thought those were both funny. Let's start off with a plus here. Go to combat, swing in. That meat low. <laughs> I love that. I am carnivore. Hell yeah, me too. They're getting pretty low here. Alrighty, and we, we take those. Very nice. So I think for this matchup, the Elven Choruses might come in. So I'm assuming they're playing the One Ring. We just didn't see it. So bring in this, bring in this, bring in Endurance. We should be good. I didn't see any of their creatures, so I don't think I need to bring in Removal Jump. Well, we can bring in the Bitter Triumph for um, the Murktide, and we can... Shave on Wall of Roots, shave on Azulaport, take out a wolf, and then take out Ooh. Maybe we don't need both endurances, I think just one is fine. Oh shoot, we do need the cursed totem. That was my bad. This hand is extremely good, by the way. Goodbye, Halfling.
Um, interesting. So I could go for the the Soul Cauldron here. Um, <clears throat> but I think they have a counter spell up. So maybe I want to just go Wall of Roots plus Ignoble, which is bad into Bowmasters, but plays around Counterspell better because they don't really want to be Counterspelling a Wall of Roots. Okay, yeah, well, okay, we played around the spell, the Counterspell, as I predicted. But we'll see if we can, let's see if we can uh, stick a Cauldron here. Ooh, I think I want to do that instead. All right, let's go for a, let's go for double green. Let's go with High Arc. Halfling. They have a Bowmaster here. Yep. It's okay. I really care more about the Halfling because I want to be able to resolve the Soul Cauldron next turn. They shocked it in, but then they passed the turn. Um, so now is a question of, I think I care more about the cauldron, so let's do the cauldron first. And then we can exile Wall of Roots right away. Thrones Ransom, sure. Um, I think I'm going to try to do this again, maybe. Mm. Do it like that. Yeah, they chose the bottom pile. I guess I'll do this when I think that they don't have mana. Or they don't have counter spell up. So I think most lists don't play that many spell snares. They have a Merc Tide here, that's fine. We can just take it out with Wrist. Capital G Wrist. Hello, Merc Tide, how are you doing? This is great now because we can protect our Bowmasters too because they didn't kill it. So we're going to one, two, and three. Wrist. No subtlety, cool. So we're going to sacrifice. Sacrifice here, target there. They have a bow master, sure. Don't ping the thing. Okay, cool. I was, I was, I thought they were gonna ping wrist. I'm like, don't do it. Uh, so we can just exile the halfling here and save our bowmaster. Hey, and they can see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have definitely put in like a reclamation stage to be playing around cursed totem. I just didn't think about that. I need to think about that more. All right, so we leave burn, and then U B control. Alrighty, last game here. We're gonna be we won the dire. We're gonna play first. Boom, yes sir. What do we got? When you get hands like these, it's just it's a holiday spirit. It's just a holiday spirit. We're gonna keep it. 
over the matchup so far. So, test user matchup was mirror match, four color, Sahili, burn, and then blue black control. And we own we lost to burn. Which we might have been able to win if I sequenced a uh, play uh, differently. But I'm not sure if we would have. Like, it was a two life point difference, and I don't know if we would have been able to untap and play shield would and gain the two life as well so i would need to like go back and see that game but it was very close i think life of pi i think you just throw it in there because just in case because it's, it's very likely that those types of decks will have the cursed totem right because similar decks like murktide any like blue x type of deck that um is like that they usually just play artifact hate in the sideboard so i think it's fine if you I think it's fine if you want to just assume that they have it. This hand is like, oh, so good. Oops. Tap. Let's tap correctly. Spike Peter getting your bind. <laughs> like, shit, that's what you get. Yeah, <laughs> true. He's like, hey, you put me on the bench. You look what you did. You put me on the bench and you die to the burn matchup. All right, cord, cord getting milled over is fine. You know our hand, our hand was already good enough. Steam vents. So this looks like a. Okay, so it's Murkta. Oh, living end. Living at ooh, okay, that's interesting. Oh, damn. All right, so if I knew this was Living End, I would have played the creatures differently. I would have played the Young Wolf and the... I would have played the Wall of Roots to get Yawgmoth into play as fast as possible. But now it's a bit awkward. That's really bad. Um... Yard Daddy top decks are godlike. They are pretty good, but not against this matchup. Well, they put a violent outburst in the graveyard, so that's not good. Come on, endurance one time. Let me untap, and then let me get Endurance. One time. Damn it. Or a land. Would have been good. So we're going to just go to combat here first, because it's assumed that they have the living end, right? Okay. That's weird. Culture, come on, Culture. That would have been really good. Unless they want to treat rate their grief. Well, now they're super low, though. I guess they have the Ent that makes food, which is kind of annoying. Subtlety, okay. They pitched a Force of Negation, sure. I can go on bottom. I'll play another one. Yep, there's the Violent Outburst, as predicted. We draw a land, 
then we can actually win this game. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, they have a food token. It doesn't matter. I was gonna say they're gonna die, they're gonna die to Grist Ultimate, but they're not. Um, so this is seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot. Maybe we just take it. Damn it. Yeah, we really needed a land there. Destroy Waker. No, I don't want to right now. No, they have a food. They could just gain the life. They would just go up to seven and we and then we die on the crackback. Makes one food? I thought it makes two. Oh, it makes one. Okay, this is still all going at us. Uh, that's five, that's seven. So unfortunately our things are dying. So I think we just block here, we block here, and then hope for the best. Um, so I could take out the subtlety. So if this Yawgmoth sticks, which it might not, okay, hold on. Um, so we can sacrifice here. I think I care more about the Wall of Roots. Oh, but I need the Wall of Roots, right? So we sacrifice here, target there. Oh, well, I don't need it, but it's gonna, yeah. Target there. It's probably, it's a very, we are very much dead, but I don't know what we could draw here that would get us out of the game. Like I block here. Like, block four. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, life sec. Okay. One more creature in graveyard, yeah. That was lethal. Oh, if I attacked.
Oh, yeah, 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 you guys are right. Oh, well. Okay, they refuse a the thing. Okay. Six cards. Seven. Oh my god, okay. Did I miss it last turn? No, right? Because it was it would have been only six and they were at seven. Or I mean attack first and then do it. No, because my creatures are dead. I don't know. Hey, Grist. I'm so surprised I didn't take out the Grist. Living Bend. Haywire, Solus, that thing, Endurance. Gris was at five last turns. So, oh, I see, I see. Okay, yes, yes, correct. Correct information. We take out two Bowmaster Fulminator. Do I put Fulminator? Hmm. Uh, this hand is just too slow. I think two endurance are good in the seventy-five. Been seeing folks go up to three endurance once again in years. Um, no, I probably I would I'm probably gonna go up to three as well. Uh, this hand is a bit awkward, but I think we're gonna keep it. it has I get the soul cauldron for graveyard hate. We have a cord if we can get there. Another land is great here, so we'll play that out. Well, I was going to play the Cauldron. But the Soulless Jailer is kind of goaded with the sauce. Um, okay, let's play out the wall first. If they have a subtlety, then it wouldn't have mattered because they were going to subtlety whatever we played anyways. Let's play the Jailer. We can take out the Flyers of the Cauldron. Yes, that is a plan, but we did draw this thing. Opponent is reading. My opponent will not have the subtlety. They will not have it. My opponent will not have the subtlety. No. Don't do it. Don't you do it. My opponent will not find the subtlety. That. 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 Let it resolve. Yes. Okay. We're good. My opponent will not have the Foundation Breaker. Got it. Hey. So this is interesting. We can either one, one, two, three, four, five. So I could go, I could hold up a cord for endurance, which is, I, I think is correct to do here. Let me think, can I do, I can't do both, right? 
if I go one, two of one, two, and then I have one, two, three, four, five. No, I can't do both. So I think it's correct to go halfling. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I think we just play this tapped to make it look like we don't have the corp. We don't have it. And then if they run out uh, shardless agent here, it would be best possible. We have to wait for them to go to their turn. Ooh, maybe I was supposed to do it there. Maybe I was supposed to do it there. Yeah, I was supposed to do it there. That was my bad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oops. Yeah, I should have I should have done the cord there when they were cycling because they didn't have the mana up to to go for it. But now they have the now they have force backup, unfortunately. Oh, they don't have it. Okay. So now that they only have these two, uh, we'll take out the curator. Really good. Like this. A present. Like Christmas. Oh, man. That hits this one. Are they just waiting until they have both? Subtlety too. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Tricky, tricky. I really need to get another green card in my hand. Blue. I can't do both, right? One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. No, I need one more land. Or I need a green card here. That's a green card. There's a shardless agent. So, I mean, let's go for cord first. I mean, I get at this, at this point they probably have both. Hmm. 
Okay, endurance. Target you. What? Hey, Lampicus, Merry Christmas. Hello, hello. Endurance first, then could use endurance for cord in case of response. Then why not endurance first? Then you could use endurance for cord in case of response. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to use endurance for I wouldn't be able to use endurance for cord because endurance wouldn't hit the battlefield; it would be on the stack, so it's it wouldn't it wouldn't add to my cord count. Um, so wait, if they settle T, we don't have endurance. Yeah. So wait, wait, wait. Isn't this bad for them? Don't I just let this resolve because th they get the living end, and then the li other living end comes back. So then they just board wipe themselves, right? Is that isn't that how this works? Am I stupid? Because they already put the living end on the stack, so they, they can't take it back, right? Oh, I should have activated the Soul Cauldron in response, though. I forgot they're getting a Foundation Breaker back. I'll just eat one of it. Yeah, but then we get everything back, too. Does Solus Jira still stop the living end that's on the stack? It does not. It shouldn't. Oh yeah, also Endurance goes back on the... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, living end player, I don't think this is going to work out. I don't think this is going to work out how you want it to, living end player. Alright. Second living end. <laughs> I'll target you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love it. You love to see it. Very nice. Get out of here, live again. Hey. See this? Get out of here. Get that shit out of here. Wait, that was a rare. No. Alright, it's okay. Only heavily played. Alrighty, not bad. Definitely could have had that 5-0, I think, if we played def uh, better against Burn. But other than that, list feels solid. Let's go over the list one more time. Um, so I think we should definitely have another Endurance. So if we are getting another Endurance here, then what do we want to take out? Maybe Terra Sunder? I have liked Terra Sunder being an instant. But if we have Haywire Might and Reclamation Sage, maybe we maybe we don't need Haywire Might. Surprise, you're still running Chorus. Well, it's, it's mainly because there was the, the scam deck, that like scam deck that won the top, that won the, the challenge in Barcelona or won the tournament in Barcelona. So it's like, it could still be good, you know, if it comes back. But I, I agree, it is the weakest card, I would say, that we have right now. So I think Chorus could also come out. I don't know. I mean, the Reclamation Sage, I think, is definitely a mainstay with uh, Olicur's Totem. 
I never like chorus even. Silent, come on. The song of our people. What happened to that? You seen me play play it against Scam? You saw what it did. It could be good as a one of. Yeah. I guess. Respect the song of our people. Um, yeah, I mean, I do agree that chorus is definitely the most. What's it called? Ne it's like the niche. It's the most niche card in our sideboard because we only really bring it in for a few matchups. But the matchups that we bring it in for are extremely good. So, I don't know. Could definitely cut it. Let me see. Quantity. It's always about win more. Huggy Fresh, have you been missing Dryad at all? There are a few instances where it's it's all like situation based, right? Like, oh, there are a few situations where Dryad Arbor is really good. There are a few situations where it's bad, right? I don't know if you were watching earlier, but there was a certain hand that I think there was two hands this league that I kept and I could have only kept because I had Hagar Mauling in my starting seven. If my starting seven had Dryad Arbor, I would have had them all that hand. That's the main reason why I like Hagar Mauling over Dried Arbor. You cut Dryad on... Hey, that's... No, listen to me. Wait, I swear, I promise. I mean, that's the... like. I, I switch on and off between Dried Arbor and I switch off Dried Arbor from time to time. I've just preferred Mauling because it allows me to keep hands where I wouldn't be able to with Dried Arbor, so that's the only reason. Okay, maybe we take it out. All right, all right. Maybe we take it out. Put Endurance on the side. Get this one out of here. Put this one in here. And then I think I want. One of these. Port Rhinos. We'll give this one a run next time. For now, I do have to go. It's quite late and I have to make food and eat. I have not eaten yet. I'm quite hungry. So I want to thank everyone for coming by the stream. Thank you for all the likes, follows, comments, and everything. I appreciate you all. Uh, I will be making more content as we're done with the Pioneer season, finally. Now it's time for Modern, time for Yogmok Gaming. Every day, Mo most days, not every day. <laughs> I still have to do stuff. <laughs> uh, but I'll try to be streaming a lot more often now, and it's going to be Modern content, baby. Very excited for that. So I'm going to go for now. I hope you all have a nice rest of your evening, and I will see you all later tomorrow thank you life pie you have a good day <laughs>